Hey guys, well, I've got the CNC bug once again, and I've decided that it's always been my plan to get a bigger CNC mill, uh, but I wanted to get the G0602, I wanted to get a CNC lathe as well, so even before I started that project, I knew that when it was finished, that I would want to get a bigger CNC mill, so... I'm going to embark on my next project and I'm trying to decide which meal that's going to suit me the best to CNC. One of the popular choices for the home hobbyist is the Grizzly G0704 meal. If you look at some of the features you can definitely tell why it's a popular choice. Uh, it has a good size table. It has a small footprint. For most home hobbyists, it's probably um, a really good size. Having been through this before with the uh, X2 mill, my biggest problem with the G0704 is it is popular, but there are a lot of modifications. By that I mean the motor seems to be a little underpowered. Of course belt drive. It seems that it's not quite enough travel on the Y. It looks like the x-axis has plenty of travel. I mean 18 and 7 eighths is way more than I need. But the 7 inch on the the 6 and 7 eighths inch, about less than 7 inches on the Y travel, really concerns me considering I'm coming from a X2, which my uh, workable area is 4 inches by 8 inches. 7 inches would probably be okay, but a lot of times I do stuff to 6 inches, and I really like to have that extra space. So, this is for the price point. Uh, $1,300. This is a great little meal. And a great size for the home hobbyist. Now I was also looking at maybe something a little bit bigger than this. Now Grizzly has <clears throat> excuse me the G0795 meal. Now the 704 weighs about 363 pounds, and that's including the stand. The 795 weighs about 500 pounds, so it's a, a good bit beefier. And this is more in line with the Bolton ZX45, although it's a little brother to that. It has the same basic um framework as you can see it already has the bigger motor it's not a dc motor it's an ac motor uh, which makes it a little bit easier to convert over to a three-phase motor with a bfd and because it already has the bigger motor the column is a little beefier and I know it can support the weight of a three-phase motor. Unlike the G704, it doesn't have this big motor on there already, so the head size, the head size is not quite as big as it would be on the 795. And all that has to be taken into consideration because if you're going to be upgrading to a bigger motor, You want the motor to be able to fit on the actual head itself, the spindle head. So that's a that's a big concern for me. Now the work table on this particular meal is seven and a half by twenty seven and a half, and the travels are seven and a half on the Y, but only thirteen and three sixteenths, or excuse me, fourteen and three sixteenths on the X. So it doesn't have quite as much X travel 
as the 704. However, it does have more travel on the Y. That combined with the overall meat of the meal and the weight of the meal makes this really a good candidate for me. Especially with the bigger motor already, uh, I think it'll be easier to convert to three phase. Looking at this meal, it's about $1,700 and I think that's a good price point for this meal. Uh, it doesn't come with a stand and it's $1,700. Now of course the ZX45 meal which is what that G0795 is the little brother to you can see it basically has the same shapes on all the castings. However, it's just not quite as big. Uh, this particular meal weighs about eight, 800 pounds, so it's 300 pounds heavier than uh, or 200 pounds heavier than the 095, 795 from Grizzly. Now this is only $1,800 but then you have to add in another $250 for shipping and uh, that puts it up over two grand, which is a little bit more than I wanted to spend and this meal is a lot bigger and heavier than I can actually fit in my shop. I think it's a good meal and looking at the travels I'm a little concerned because it says that the cross travel for the Y is only six and four fifths which is not quite seven inches and it's about not quite 20 inches on the X. Now once you see and see this, of course those travels are going to change because you're going to be able to uh, mill out the saddle uh, and make it a little bit more uh, space available for travel. So I'm not too concerned with that because I think that's way low on this Bolton Tools mill. One thing I'm not quite sure about with Bolton is if you look at all the castings, um, they don't really look that clean like they do with Grizzly stuff and of course this meal you can tell they didn't even clean the Cosmoline and stuff off of it but it just seems like the fit and finish on these particular meals aren't quite as nice as a Grizzly however you know that's nothing that you know a file and some lapping compound and stuff like that can take care of uh, Again, this you know has the big motor, so converting it to three phase in a VFD is going to be uh, a little bit easier. And another meal that I've recently came out on the market is Quality Machine Tools. Let me see from Precision Matthews uh, Machine Tools Online. This is their 727 milling machine. And I saw this and this really intrigued me because number one, um, this is basically a G0795 from Grizzly. It does have the Quill DRO which doesn't really matter much to me because I'll be removing all that stuff anyhow. But what this mill has that I thought was really a nice feature is it has a lot of column height. And let me show you the specs on this particular machine. Number one, the Y travel is eight and a half inches. By far it's like an inch and a half more than the other two mills. Uh, the X travels only 15 inches. 
but the vertical travel is 16 inches so the column is tall and it has a lot more on the y-axis and the price point is good it's eighteen hundred dollars and that includes shipping uh, the weight on this meal is around 600 pounds it comes with the base and it's a good size it's not as big as the nine and a half by 32 ZX 45 but it is a good size meal and with eight and a half inches of Y and 16 or so inches of X uh, that pretty much doubles my work area that I'm using now and I think that's going to be just perfect for me so taking all those stuff all that stuff into critical consideration with the price uh, and the size uh, I think going with the Precision Matthews 727 is the perfect choice for me has the big motor already on it so it should be easy to convert to three phase uh, it's already set up for the weight of this big motor so I know this, the column and all is rigid enough to handle that Precision Matthews uh, quality machine tools online they seem to have a better castings than the Bolton uh, they clean up real nice I'm really impressed with uh, Matt if you call Precision uh, Matthews and you talk to Matt uh, he's the owner he's very knowledgeable with uh, the meals and he's happy to answer any questions that you have uh, I appreciate Matt answering all my questions and uh, I think this project is going to be uh, something I'm going to look forward to I haven't decided which way I'm going to progress as far as the conversion goes uh, having access to the X2 uh, CNC it's very tempting to CNC mill some of the, the parts for the conversion however most of the people that are viewing these videos don't have access to a CNC or another mill other than the one that uh, they're going to purchase so I may just try to machine all these uh, pieces manually using the this particular mill uh, so it's going to require a lot of planning so that you don't have to take and disassemble the mill and that sort of stuff so we'll see how that goes I'll probably disassemble it and clean it and then when I'm doing that I'll get all my measurements so that I can draw up all my mounts and stuff and hopefully that's all that will all work out so that's what's going on with me this will probably be a year-long project and I'm sure there'll be tons of videos uh, produced during this build uh, if you decide to go with uh, the bigger brother the ZX 45 um, uh, probably a lot of these drawings will uh, the basic concept will probably transfer over the table is a little bit smaller on this meal so some of those uh, aren't gonna work out but the overall procedures and theory behind the conversion and of course all the electronics should uh, transfer to any meal so stay tuned for that I look forward to uh, your questions and as always if you have any comments or anything you'd like to see in future videos or any particular areas that you think that I should concentrate on getting the information out uh, please feel free to comment I'll try to get that in the next videos the I'm going to try to cover things that aren't already covered on the web uh, there's a lot of information out there for different various meals and a lot of people show you 
their converted meals, but they don't actually show you the steps they took to convert it. Uh, so I'll try to get all that stuff included in my videos, just like with the G0602 project. Um, I try to get as much in there as I can possibly get. So thanks for watching the videos. Stay tuned for future videos on the PM727M CNC conversion. Most importantly, be safe.